I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. Huge congrats on the series, and thank you both so much for taking the time to speak with me today. Thank Sophia. you, Sophia. Yeah. Of course. And first off, I want to give you both a chance to sort of do an introduction and a preview to your characters. Um, I play Bronwyn Drokas, um, who is your um, archetype of the nerd or the brainiac, um, very focused on her future that she rarely gets to take a look at her present. And I play uh, Nate McCauley, and Nate's a character who on the surface seems like your typical, uh, stereotypical bad boy who rides a motorcycle, wears a lot of like leather and, and denim. But, you know, um, once we start to pull back the layers, we see, we see that he's vulnerable and sensitive and, and just a, a human at heart. And I want to also ask you, what what really attracted you to the project you know it's based on a book did you did you use that as source material was there something specific that pulled you in yeah i think i think um you know the karen karen mcmanus she did so well in in creating such a, a like fruitful and, and inviting and exciting world with these these characters and and the story and uh and you know on the surface sometimes the characters seem stereotypical but once you sink your teeth into the book it just it gets gets so juicy and there's so many twists and turns and you just get taken along with all these characters and 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 of course Brummel and Nate as well like that just I I was drawn to that I love a good romantic Same. story yeah I love a good romantic <laughs> story so I couldn't agree more <laughs> and that's actually the first thing that I got to read because um, I I think I got some sides before I even got the pilot to read um, for my first audition. And there was something so special about the dynamic of Ronan and Nate, and it was just almost like, oh, like a teen fantasy to get to play the romantic uh, on that side. Um, and then as I read the pilot, um, it there's just a wisdom that goes beyond their years for these characters mm -hmm. and, and the circumstances that they're facing and, and how, you know, they're navigating just this chaotic, um, you know, traumatizing thing that they've all witnessed um, and how it brings them together and, and strengthens them to own who they are, um, you know, beyond what people perceive them to be. So that was really, really attractive. And then I got to read the book and there's so much more complexity into who they are and it just honestly kept getting better. Yeah, truly. Yeah, I think, I think just like the the aspect of these characters going through like such tough times but like bonding together over over this murder investigation and becoming so close as a group of friends um was a beautiful beautiful story and i was i was just so excited to be able to like bring that to life with you and, and chia banana and the rest of the cast who are so amazing and talented and, and yeah it's truly an honor likewise thanks <laughs> No, with with the romance storylines comes the shippers. Are you ready for that? <laughs> for all the, for all, are you ready to go? Um, yeah, it's a bit nerve wracking, but I think you know, and, and I hope that people um, receive um, what we've created uh, well. You know, I'm really excited. Like we're, yeah, 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 very yeah. soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like there's going to be a lot of people shipping Nate one. Nate one. Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes yes um and also i want to ask you the genre is obviously such a fun one what is that like for you guys to play with as actors i think we you have you know the ya um and then also the murder mystery which are just like a great combination because you have you know the humanity of like going through those years where you know you're trying to figure out who you are and um the relationships that you explore within that and the complexities and like um, how am I accepted and like received and then you have social media play into that so much now um, and also this murder mystery that drives the show because our lives as characters depend on figuring out who did it because you know Nate could end up in jail for the rest of his life mm. um, my academic future could is a jeopardy so yeah it's, yeah. it's really just an incredible combination. Yeah, and I think, you know, going off that, you do have these typical kind of, like, uh, ideas and genres about the show. But I think it is so, like, rooted in, in, in like, realism and it's so genuine and authentic. And, and being able to work with such, like, talented people that bring so much, like, authenticity, authenticity to the characters, it's almost, like, almost breaks that, the, that mold of, like, your typical genre. I think because 
um, you know, you guys are just so so talented. Being able to work with you guys every day and be so great, like great friends on and off screen, um, it just brings another element to the show that is kind of I feel like you don't see very right. Yeah. It's it's really special, um, and I think that it's it's a, a big part of what makes this project um, so bingeable. Yeah. It's like, yeah, the dynamic between actors, insanely talented humans um, on and off screen, like an amazing crew and, and a team of creators uh, from the show Rotter to the producers and, and just cast and director, everyone. Yeah, yeah, truly. Obviously, as we as we've mentioned, it's definitely, you know, that teen high school sort of setting. I want to ask you both if you could give your younger self a piece of advice that you hope maybe the audiences learn from this show, what would it be? Always show your true colors and and, and be honest as you can. Yeah, um, I think something that I've learned very much from Bronwyn, who's, you know, the archetypical nerd um, and there could be like shyness around that or you don't really see a nerd as sassy as Bronwyn I think <laughs> and like as strong in her own skin I think there's a lot to learn about that and like owning, owning who you are and what your taste is and and you know there's so much that you, you can share with people in in that strength of even if it's not easy to own it and you could you have the fear of being judged um mm. there is just great value and and growth from um owning that yeah yeah and not being like too quick to judge either because i feel like so true i feel like in high school you do you like you're, you're very quick to judge and i think with right. social media nowadays as well everybody is very yeah. quick to judge it's kind of like on on instagram it's like people put up their best moments in their life and who knows true. what is going on underneath and beneath that yeah. And I think that goes for when you see a person as well, when you when you meet a person, like, you know, yeah. I feel like that's what I, I would tell myself as well, just to like, don't, don't judge, judge. So yeah, don't judge the book by its cover. Good. Yeah. Your best tagline for the series. Best tagline, best tagline. All right. How about, all right, well, do you want to start with the first half, half and I'll do like the second half? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um, unexpected friendships. And a majorly exciting roller coaster of a ride filled with love, excitement, passion, and joy, and twisty and turns. <laughs> yes. I just I ran what I'm in. <laughs> I couldn't throw it all in there, but that's really what it is, though. Okay, I was just rambling at that point. I should have left it at like a uh, roller coaster. Throw it all in there. <laughs> throw it all. <laughs> Thank you both so much. It was such a pleasure to speak with you. Have a great rest of your day and stay safe. Congrats again. Thanks so thank much, you, Sophia. Sophia. Have a great thank day. you. Thank you. Bye.